Monsieur le Chancelier, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter Monsieur Eric Martel, ingénieur devenu chef d'entreprise qui dirige aujourd'hui l'une des sociétés phares de la province, Hydro-Québec. Since taking over the reins of Hydro-Québec as CEO in 2015, Mr. Martel has introduced four new priorities proactive communication, sustained growth, improved customer service, and productivity. Corporate responsibility and sustainability are key pillars of the vision he has for the company, which he sees as an important player in reducing greenhouse gas emissions through a transition to a mix of renewable energy sources. For Monsieur Martel, l'une des principales responsabilités d'une dirigeant est d'insuffler une conscience et un sentiment d'urgence en matière d'innovation. Cette vision s'aligne parfaitement avec celle de Concordia. To that end, under his leadership, Hydro-Quebec has pledged $3.9 million to Concordia for innovative research and student funding. The gift supports 68 merit-based scholarships for students over five years, helping ensure Concordians shine brightly for the next generation. Monsieur Le Chancelier, au nom du Sénat et du Conseil d'administration de l'université, j'ai de le privilège et l'honneur de vous présenter M. Eric Martel afin que vous lui dessiniez un doctorat en sciences honoris causa. Dr. Martel, congratulations, and would ask you to now address the convocation. Thank you. Thank you. Alors, euh, Monsieur le, le Chancelier, Monsieur le Recteur, euh, invité d'honneur, euh, chers diplômés, parents et amis, alors bonjour à tous. Tout d'abord, je voudrais remercier l'Université Concordia pour cette reconnaissance. Je voudrais remercier ma famille qui est ici pour leur support pendant toute ma carrière professionnelle. Et euh, vous devez tous savoir et vous avez tous, on a tous des épreuves dans une carrière. You know, it's never, uh, you know, there's always roadblock through your career. There'll be things that, you know, will be more difficult, challenges. And... Uh, You know, I started to work, I, I grew up in a very modest environment myself, started to work very early. I was in the Army cadets, you know, when I was a teenager. I became an officer in the reserve, and then I did my bachelor on, in electrical engineer, uh, finishing in 1991. Throughout all of these things that I've faced in my, in my life, uh, you know, the most important thing is what you discover about yourself and what you learn about yourself. So clearly, you know, today, you're all going to be graduating from this engineering school, and you definitely demonstrated that you're capable to learn, and you've learned a lot in the engineering field. But also is what you learn about yourself, you know, throughout the years that is the most important thing. So 
you will have the opportunity moving forward and we all continue to learn about ourselves every day, whatever your age is. And be yourself. Don't try to be somebody that you're not. I think this is one of the most important thing. One of the most important thing to learn. And every day you need to be able to say, this is me, this is what I like, this is what I want, not somebody else's dream or trying to be somebody else. Another important thing that I've learned through my career also is to be positive, inspirational, and like I always say as being the CEO of Hydro-Quebec, you need to create energy around yourself. You know, I had a teacher when I was in grade four and five in high school, you know, who was an unbelievable human being being passionate about, you know, teaching us about physics. And this is where I, you know, he was a role model for us, you know, because he was always a positive person, you know, help, you know, and you could see that he liked what he was doing. So um, this is how I end up liking physics and I ended up, you know, going to the engineering school at the end. So you will meet people in your career you know, that will be role model. And I think it's important, you'd have to be yourself, but at the same time, you know, it's important to have role model, people that will inspire you, people that you will see, that you will like to follow. But I'm sure that these people, you know, uh, again, will be people that, you know, are inspirational and that you want to follow because they're positive people. They're constructive, they want to move the needle, discover new things or, or, or make, everybody progressing. The other thing that I would like to say is follow your instinct, okay? When opportunity comes at your door, do not overthink it. You know, grasp it, and I'm sure you won't regret it if you go and, and this is you and this is, a, a, this is gonna be a positive experience. In Quebec, we have to be extremely proud of our engineering community. We are renowned around the world, actually, for our capabilities here. And, and you're gonna be part of this very soon. You know, I always like to say we have an aerospace industry that we've developed here in Quebec. There's not many places around the world that you know, can fly an airplane, can actually design an airplane from A to Z or fly an airplane. You can probably count them the number of country on your hands. But clearly, uh, you know, also, Hydro-Quebec, you know, the company that I'm, I have the opportunity to lead today is, is renowned around the world. You know, we've done things here because of our geography that was, were never achieved anywhere in the world before. So we need to be proud, and this happened because of our innovation capability, but also because of our engineering knowledge. You know, we were the first one in the world to do 735 kilovolt transmission line. We were the first one to, the, to do, you know, direct current transmission line of 1,500 kilometers or more with multi-terminal. This was never happened before. And this is the work, the base of this work came out of our research institute at LIREC here that some of you may know because we've been working with the university here for many years. Uh, you know, we already have a share working on, uh, on, uh, on, on simulation and other uh, subject here. But I think it's important to know that, and we should be very proud of what our predecessor did. But I am extremely confident when I look at the young engineer joining our organization today that we are going to continue to move the needle. We are facing some major challenges, as you know, with climate change. Hydro-Quebec will definitely play a key role in our region, you know, to help that. You know, we can export electricity. Just last year, our export in electricity were the equivalent of taking almost three million car out of the circulation by reducing emissions. So we should be very, very proud of that because we sit on, on this here in Quebec and we have those natural resources, but we were capable of doing something with those resources because of the capabilities of engineers we have in this province. So I just want to say congratulations to all of you. You should be very proud today. 
I remember sitting, you know, at your place a couple of years ago. This may sound like a long time ago. It was in 1991, but believe me, I remember the ceremony perfectly. So congratulations to you all, and I'm sure you're going to have a beautiful career in front of you. Thank you so much. Merci. Dr. Martel, many thanks for your energizing, illuminating, and motivating comments. <laughs>